Well, welcome everyone. You're talking to the rock stars of the 70s, whether it be the GL70 or the Volvo. We have... Jamie Foxall, Richard Bazaar, Justin Slattery, Richard Mason. And I'm Carly Oston. So welcome everyone to the 2015 Chicago Race to Mackinac. I just want to ask you guys a few quick questions. Found out it's your first Mac race. Yeah. What are you thinking? You have some I've preconceived it ideas? Up until now. I uh, know, uh, it's been fortress. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be light apparently. Um, I've heard about the flies. <laughs> yeah. Apparently you get a lot of flies <laughs> yeah. in this race, which worries me. There's no Australian, um, so we're okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why now? Why has it taken you so long? Sorry? Why has it taken you so long? Why now? Very good question, I don't know. It just pans out that way sometimes. I'm not sure. Sounds great. Well, you've been to Chicago. You all have experienced racing here before. If not the Mac, then one of our other races. Yeah. Or is that anybody else's first time? No, no, no. The first time. Yeah, another newbie. Yeah, another newbie. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to be here. What an awesome backdrop. <laughs> Can't get any better than this. Maybe a little more breeze, but we'll deal with it. It's going to be better tomorrow. Yeah. There's no much more. So, are it's you all better when you get back in <laughs> there. That's the bar there. I mean, oh, it's pink, 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 It's all pink, about pink, a pink pony. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> it goes straight there as soon as yeah. you hit the rocks. Down, yeah. uh, no, we're not going to hit any rocks. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Actually, it's a very touchy subject for Richard Ray to have any rocks. You're doing the same thing. Yeah, finish the old race. Yeah, we're going to have some rocks, I think, Rich. Yeah. We won't have the top down the other side of it. Uh, this one, so we're here on the floor. We're getting here, I think. And that's more Volvo length race for you. We have to talk to this guy. He's just he just finished the Volvo and won it. So. Now you're getting right Straight back. Straight off the ocean into a lake. Back in, yeah. But we might have to stop the pink pony just for a quick view before we head down back oh, to the girls. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how we're going. We've got a lot of time in the bag to do that. Maybe. So like this Chicago man, you know, he's just his double winner of the Volvo Ocean. He only finished last week and he came straight here. See how important was your rest? No rest for the wicked. He's quite wicked. He can't be at times. <laughs> Now you two are racing together on the same boat. Yeah, yeah we're three well, yeah. of us, Damien, Richard, and myself are on uh, Il Mustro, so... Are you all going to be on the same watch? Are you going to get along, or...? No, we're not going to get along. We're on... So we've got... <laughs> had to put five different watch systems for eight people. <laughs> uh, none of us get on. A photo bomb. Yeah. Uh, we've got a really nice bunch of people, actually. It's going to be good. Yeah. 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 Which Richard? Yeah. Yeah. Which Richard? We're not going there. He's going to be with a boat full of flies the whole way off to back. Yeah. 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 What do you want, Richard? The classic. We're doing the Great Lakes 70 program. And you're with the 70 that was just rebuilt by yeah. his family. Yeah. Yeah. Very How retro. do you feel getting back into a boat that you know has a little less time together, just bought over the winter? Be interesting. <laughs> Leave it there. So this is your first Mac and your first sail in Chicago. How are you preparing for that? What sorts of things are you doing to, and how does that compare to your races in the past? Well, I guess we, you know, first of all, joining a few people we've already sailed with. Otherwise, it's a totally new team. We really know the boat pretty well. One word: DEET. <laughs> What's that? DEET. Seat. Keeps the yeah, flies away. A <laughs> couple of extra days sailing the boat before we start and uh, ready to go. It's just another race. He's been going around the Fresh boat water, taking though. everything he can find off the boat. Yeah, the boat's yeah. a little yeah. bit lighter. Even from the to the sea now. I've just been <laughs> promised there's no freeze-dried food and yeah. Franchi has been working hard so the food's going to be awesome for the next three days. <laughs> so is that the major difference between this and your typical ocean races that you've been doing, the food? And the gear, uh, maybe? The fresh, the fresh water. Fresh yeah. water is going to be lovely. the gear and we're on a lake. And this is only 300 miles. <laughs> we can drink the water from the lake. That's pretty unique. You just filter it straight out, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, what are some of the challenges of sailing on the lakes as opposed to the ocean? Because Il Mostro was obviously built for ocean racing. It, doesn't really, it has a very small degree of acceptable conditions here. Well, she needs the wind. I mean, sailing on the lakes is very different to sailing at sea. Right? It's, uh, the weather systems and all the local stuff is, just, it takes a bit of getting your head around. And now she was also purchased to break speed records. You need wind How close are you going to get this year? <laughs> I don't know, the wind, it's not enough wind for her to do that, but if she, if she had the right conditions, for sure she could. 
And now, what are you guys seeing in terms of weather? Do you guys have any insider tips that we should be aware of a certain time when the wind will pick up and clog on? We're hoping you're going to give us some insight. You can tell from your accents you're not from around here. We've got enough background in this yeah. stuff. We should be able to pick up. On a serious note, we've just had a weather briefing with Matt uh, Rakovic, the navigator. And, um, and uh, I get the feeling that you know more about Twitter than he does right now. Well, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a guessing game. You wait five minutes around here and it'll change. What's your eating originally? Well, the best information I've had is from the cameraman. And that's the state of the east of it at the pad. Yeah, you're gonna come out gold, so we're gonna run that boat. <laughs> Richard, Richard, you don't Sorry share that with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run with that program. And if we're in front of you and we're at least it's not looking good, you can go. If you guys are behind us, you've had it. <laughs> so weather tips aside, are there any other tips that you would share with your fellow racers or people that might not be as experienced? I think there's a good tip that you guys learned about the restaurant you went to last night. Yeah, don't go to Rock Bottom Restaurant. <laughs> I could have told you that. Amazing <laughs> restaurants, but we had the worst experience last night. <laughs> oh man, so where are you going tonight? Uh, we're, we're going to Peter's restaurant. Have you had yeah. Chicago pizza yet? That's the big question. Uh, no. Apparently you need steak ground here, you definitely didn't come We're going to the Dawson oh. tonight. The oh. Dawson is going to be That's camping. right by the uh, Brand place. train yeah. station. Yeah. I saw that building. I haven't oh, even been there yet. But. <laughs> All right, well, we're almost out of time, but with one last question, this is one that I'm not sure you've gotten in a while. For the people that aren't used to sailing, people that aren't as familiar with it, the general public, what should they know about sailing from your perspective? What is the one thing that you would share with them? The windier it is, the more fun it is to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess be, be ready before you start, before you leave the dock. It's all about, you know, having fun is about being prepared. So. Exactly. It's a I mean, it's it's a relatively dangerous sport. Um, relatively, it's not like motor racing, honestly. But yes, yeah, so I think preparation and we ready safety, for everything. Yeah, keeping safety in mind. An offshore race, always keep it in mind. Knowing your crew, you know, being part of a group of people. And have a good plan and be prepared to change it 10 times a day. <laughs> Don't get too stressed. Amen. It's fun out there. Don't, don't let it get you down. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so much for spending some time with us. Have a great day. Sail fast. Thank you.